Hey, hey, I am back with the first December episode of our weekly market insight series, which comes to you directly from our capital markets trading desk here at SunWest Mortgage Company. So let's just get right into it. U.S. stocks continue their month-long rally this week as data has brought out hope that the Federal Reserve is done raising interest rates. Bond traders have priced in the first central bank interest rate cut by May. This narrative led to November being the best month since the 1980s for the U.S. bond market. Investors have bid heavily on treasuries this month, bringing up prices and leading to treasury yields continuing to fall. Yields are hovering in the 4.3% range after almost reaching 5% in October. Comments from Federal Reserve officials this week hinted that central bank would hold benchmark interest rates steady in their upcoming meeting in December. Fed Governor Waller and Atlanta Fed President Bostic indicated that the current monetary policy has the central bank well positioned to reach their goal of scaling back inflation to 2%. Increased investment and government spending drove the U.S. gross domestic product to grow at an annual pace of 5.2% in the third quarter, surpassing estimates of 4.9%. It was the strongest quarterly growth in nearly two years. Consumer spending advanced at a slower pace of 3.6%. The economy is expected to slow down in the fourth quarter. Data released on Thursday by the Bureau of Economic Analysis showed U.S. consumer spending and inflation met expectations and is cooling down. The core personal consumption expenditure price index, which excludes food and energy prices, rose 0.2% last month and 3.5% on a year-over-year -year basis. Home prices in the U.S. hit record highs with their eighth straight month of gains. Prices climbed 0.7% in September compared to August. New home sales data for the month of October was released yesterday with underwhelming results. Newly constructed home sales came in below expectations as they fell 5.6% to 679000 during the month. Despite the shortened holiday week, MBA mortgage applications increased 0.3%, continuing their winning streak. Purchase applications increased 5%, while refinance applications were down 9% from the previous week. Mortgage rates decreased for the fourth time in five weeks, nearing the low 7% range, dropping to their lowest level in nearly three months. Initial U.S. application for unemployment benefits rose by 7,000 to 218,000 for the Thanksgiving holiday week ending November 25th. Meanwhile, continuing jobless claims jumped by 86,000 to 1.93 million for the week ending November 18th, its highest level in two years. Continuing claims have risen in nine of the past 10 weeks. And yes, that is all we have for you this week. If you like this video, please hit that like button and to be notified every time we upload a new video, please hit the notification bell to subscribe. As always, join me again next Friday for the latest news brought to you by our Capital Markets Trading Desk. And of course, have a fantastic weekend. Buffy, out.